Stardate 2607 2.4, Sector Blackpool, home of the famous tower and the Norbrecht Castle Hotel, the destination for this weekend's event. I think my good friend Leanne, who joined me, was even more excited than I was. Leanne's here. Are you excited, Leanne? I'm very excited. She's very excited. <laughs> Through the doors and already we were loving the amazing outfits on display and after a queue or two, we collected our passes and our goodie bags. Right, we've arrived, we've arrived, here we are. Hey! hey. <laughs> we've picked up our passes. We have, Passes yes. for the weekend, we are Lieutenant 48 and 49. 49. Lieutenant 49. Yeah, awesome. And we have our goodie bags, which we've, which we've not yet looked at, have we? So we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to um, open the goodie bag and see what's inside. So, poster. poster, look. Ferengi. And the guy that's in this poster, I might add, is actually here, and I've taken a photo of him. So, Quark, from Deep Space Nine. Taking pictures. So, it's been really good. <laughs> what else have we got in here? Uh, oh, yeah, you get this, which is cool for any of those runners out there or anybody that does any sporting activity. You get a lot of bladder thing. Um, it's got a lid and everything. Oh, look. Security cool. personnel incident report book with pen because you always need the pen, and I like that, so, you know, it's going in. So technically that's a nice little, nice little notepad, I think, so that's good. Really good. Always like a free pen. Yep. Um, and I think that is Are we there? Well, yeah, we've seen some nice outfits, haven't we? We've seen some awesome outfits. We've got everything from nearly every franchise going, so obviously normals, uh, you know, first edition kind of Star Trek, Next Generation, we've got Strange New Worlds, we've got Discovery, um, seen yeah. some, there was a Klingon stood at the bar earlier, which was quite bar. amusing. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking the effort of some of the people, and even those, even those that haven't got like full-on outfits, they've got these got tops on and stuff. So we're wearing our, yeah, we're wearing our t-shirts. So mine's slim, kind of. Um, boldly go. Boldly go. Yeah. And uh, you've got the Voyager, I've got my Voyager t-shirt, t-shirt on. T-shirt. Yeah. So it's good. The sun is shining. Yeah. We're enjoying a drink and. Um, yeah. So cheers to that. Cheers. 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 It was then time to check out the main exhibitors hall and the science and community stage which I was to perform on tomorrow. Also available to enjoy were some of the original costumes used in the filming of the series, with my particular favourite being those of Kess and Captain Janeway from Star Trek Voyager. More impressive were these Lego ship models, designed and created by talented Van Dean. Creating each one from scratch from genuine Lego bricks, these really are a labour of love, and anyone interested in building one themselves can check out Dean's store for the building instructions and parts list via the link below. Saturday rolled around and yes, I couldn't resist performing in my Janeway uniform. I was thrilled just to see my name on the timetable. Time to engage. Jamie, um, it's amazing to be here, thank you so much. Um, yeah, my name's Claire Onitz, as Jamie says, um, I'm a musician and tre trekkie, uh, long time trekkie, and um, uh, about four years ago I turned to YouTube, as did many musicians during that awful time that we all went through, and I decided it was time to try and make some covers, some versions of music that I love from all different genres um, and four years later I'm still doing it um, and I do a live stream show every Sunday afternoon, I won't be doing it tomorrow uh, but normally it's every Sunday afternoon where you can come along and request from my big list of music um, and just enjoy hanging out with uh, fellow music lovers and space lovers, 
we always have a space section where we bring some space news every week as well. I always rely on them because I can never do it. So uh, it's awesome. Anyway, today um, I'm going to share with you some of my covers and of course, well, it has to be the fabulous music of Star Trek, a music I'm sure you agree is so integral to this wonderful series. And I'm going to take you through a whistle-stop tour of many of the theme tunes from uh, the series. Starting off, of course, with the original series. This tune was written by composer Alexander Courage. Uh, it was also featured, of course, in many of the movies and has been used all through uh, the franchise. And um, did you know, because I like to bring you some fascinating facts along the way, did you know that this tune was also remixed quite a lot in the 70s into several different disco versions? Uh, including one, ah, there you go, including one uh, which was uh, had lyrics put to it and sung by the wonderful Michelle Nichols. If you haven't checked that out, go and search for it on YouTube, it's quite a treat. So uh, I hope you enjoy my uh, cover of the original Star Trek theme. <laughs> Well, what can I say about performing the amazing music of Star Trek at such an event? Sharing my own arrangements with such ardent fans was both nerve-wracking and thrilling, and I enjoyed every minute. I was pleased to see that many enjoyed my flutiful facts that I also shared between tracks, and I even managed to include a few that most people weren't aware of. The performance flew by and I was overjoyed that not only many people wanted to sit and listen to the entire performance, but that many stood and watched as they passed through the large hall, meaning I had an even bigger crowd at the end. Sending a massive thank you to everyone who listened and came and spoke to me afterwards. <laughs> over and I was able to really relax and enjoy the rest of the weekend. The guest talks by actors including Tim Russ of Star Trek Voyager, Armin Shimmerman and Sherrock Lufton of Deep Space Nine and Marina Sirtis of Next Generation were a real highlight. Saturday night was party night and we really enjoyed entering into the spirit of the Wild West along with the many other Trekkies who danced the night away. Last but not least, a mention to all the wonderful people who I got to chat with and enjoy the rest of the weekend with. Everybody entered into the spirit of the occasion, whether it was their first time there or they'd done it many times before. And being able to chat with such friendly, like-minded folk was what made it oh so enjoyable. Well, they were mostly friendly anyway. Special mention to my good friend Leanne who took most of the photos and videos and supported me along the way. Trek fans really are the best and I can't wait to see lots of you again at next year's destination.